Hey guys, what's up? It's Master Beef here, back with another video for the I M M series in my in my mind series. And this is episode number five, and this episode will be about one person and their glorious career in NASCAR. Guys, it's Jeff Gordon. Um, Jeff Gordon is a truly inspiration to everybody. Everybody in NASCAR, the young drivers are worth are fans of him. I'm a fan of him. I def I've been a fan of him ever since I got into NASCAR in 2006. He's only he's been the only driver I cheer for in NASCAR, and he will always be the only driver I cheer for in NASCAR. If I happen, you know, I'd be like, yes, that guy won in the next season. That I that doesn't mean anything. There's still one driver I cheer for on one end always, and that is Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon, you are my hero. You are my inspiration. And you are the reason I wanted to be in NASCAR. So let's talk about Jeff Gordon's career. Jeff Gordon started back in 1992. In the final race of the season where Richard Petty was retiring. And he didn't finish the race because um, I guess he got into record. I don't really know. I just heard about that. And 93, he won Rookie of the Year. For the first time in NASCAR, NASCAR wins the Cup Series because that's what it's called back then. It didn't change it to 2004. Um, then 94, I believe he came second to Dale Earnhardt in the championship. Then 95 was that first season he won the championship. 96, I don't know if it was a good season or not because I didn't, you know, I got, I, did, I wasn't alive for that, so I don't know. <laughs> 97 and 98 were definitely his best seasons in NASCAR because in those two seasons he won the combined 23 races. Wait, hold on. That's wrong. He won a combined total of 19 races. 19, yeah, 19. Because he won 13 in the year I was born, 1998. And then he won 6 in, two, in 1997. 1999, he had a good season, didn't win the championship, obviously. 2000, Bobby Labonte won it. But then the year Dale Earnhardt died in 2001, Jeff Gordon did win the championship that year. 2002, 2003, 2000, 2002, 2003. Very good seasons for him, didn't win the championship, of course. Yes, he's only a four-time champion. So, yes, guys, the last he won was 2001. The 2004 season, he didn't make the chase. That's when the chase all started, when Kurt Busch won it the first year. He finished third in the chase that year. The next year was the first year of Jeff Gordon not making the chase. And yet, he still won a race that year at Martinsville, which is his one good, his favorite track. I bet you, if you ask him, Martinsville is his favorite track. The 2006 season, he did make the chase, but I think he finished like 8th. The 2007 season, where Jimmy Johnson just went ballistic, him and Jeff Gordon were in a battle, and Jimmy Johnson ended up beating Jeff Gordon for the championship by 71 points. 2008, he missed the chase for, for the second time, and he finished the season good. 2009, he came back, finished 3rd in the championship. Winning three races, winning one race actually, I think, yeah, it was one that was Texas. Wait, no, 2009 he didn't win any races. 2010 he won at Texas. 2010 he finished, I believe it was fifth in the championship. 2011? 2011 he won at Phoenix. I believe he won two races that year, finished good in the championship. I have no idea, I, I don't remember these things. Uh, 2012. That was the season he got. He that was the season he really should have won a championship. Also last year too. I'll get to I'll get to last year. 2012. He was going into the second to last race, having a chance to finish first or second in the championship, and he gets taken out by Clint Boyer. So like any other NASCAR driver, Jeff Gordon gets takes him back out, takes his chance away, and Jeff Gordon ends up getting penalized for that, which I don't understand by. 
Then we move on to 2013, Jimmy Johnson's sixth championship. Um, it was it was okay year for Jeff. I mean, he still finished going to championship 2012-2013. Now let me get to 2014 because that's the season that really got me angry. Yeah, all right, 2014. He is battling for the championship, trying to get to the final four at Homestead in 2004 last year. At Texas, he is leading the race with about like five laps left to go. And Brian Keselowski takes him out. And after that, I just had everybody taking Jeff Gordon out. Yeah, Jeff Gordon always races everybody clean. I don't know why everybody's saying bad things about him. He races people clean. It's the other drivers that don't race him clean. And like Brad Keselowski deserved, he got punched in the face for it. And then we come to this year and this season. What? What a season. Waiting hours of I was just, in my mind, I was just waiting for that one time Jeff Gordon to win. And I was just waiting to cheer and just be like, yes, he's going to Homestead. And it happened. Martinsville Speedway, the track he always wins at when he needs to win the most. He won at Martinsville, made it to the final round, but he did finish good. He finished sixth in the race. And I'm pretty sure he finished third in the final four, which is still good, making it to the final four because Jimmy Johnson didn't make it. That's all I can say. Jimmy Johnson, sixth down champion, didn't make it. But Jeff Gordon still finished good, and I'm proud of him for all he has done. I thank you for, I thank you, Jeff Gordon, for being an inspiration to me and inspiring everybody else to be a NASCAR driver. And I hope you have a good time being a sports broadcaster for Fox next year. And Jeff Gordon, all I have to say is, I love you. You are my hero. I thank you very much. And goodbye, guys.